Well, good morning and welcome. It's 19th of March 2019. I'm on an unusual little track this morning, just come off for a halal wander. I'm in the grounds of um, the old Broughtmower RNAD dump. It's quite a vast space. It was opened, oh, I think it was just before 1940, 1939, something like that, maybe. It was opened. And eventually it was shut for good in 90s, early 90s. I just remember growing up as a kid, we always wondered what was going on at this dump. There's all sorts of weapons made here and brought here. There's a train track up from the main line and a narrow gauge track as well, I believe, within the grounds. But it's a big, massive area and I'm not going to walk around it all today. The chances are I'm going to get caught by a farmer and being told the Fox dot Oscar, no doubt. But let's wait and see. Well, I'm onto one of the tracks that they used to use. Um, a lot of shrubbery now. There's definitely an eerie feel to it. Definitely, you know, when that feeling you shouldn't be here. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm trying to head down to the main bit. Just looking on Google Maps, of course, to see where it's at. So I'm kind of following the tracks. But over that way, there's some old buildings. There's a lot over, over this way, further off. It is massive, this area. It really is. But yeah, quite fascinated to see. I'm surprised I've got this far. It's only a matter of time before somebody says, no, we shouldn't be here. Let's wait and see. Well, apparently the council aren't this now, but further in that direction, the Broughton River. There was a new housing development on its way. I mean, this would be a great cycle track, to be honest. It's classed as Derwent Forest now. As I said, there was like a narrow gauge track here. Must have gone over there. So in that direction. And split over there into these huts here. We'll go and have a look over here first. A curiosity. Back in that direction, there is some more buildings as well. They've stored all sorts in here. Goodness knows what. I'm now coming for a closer look. I would say this is where the track went at one stage, and this was like a little platform so to unload things and, and store away. Let's get up. Now what you can see now, yeah. Come along here. Yeah. More or less all the same size. You can't see a great deal in there. But yeah. Little track along here. I said the only thing you get in here now is, is maybe cows. Local farmer. Down. Somewhat interesting. And they would have had another track here going into this large building. Still got number on, number 306. So, goodness knows how many buildings was on this site, but judging by the map, there's a hell of a lot. It's absolutely bogged up here, so I can't really get round unless I get caked up in mud. And I can't get across, that's just like a swamp. It doesn't look like it much on the camera where it is. It's absolutely swampy. It looks alright over there. I'll tell the little track I'll have gone all the way up, right along the various factories, storage rooms. Yeah, as I was saying, it's a vast building, this. My word. Went right through. I wonder what's put in here. There's another one further up as well. 
Now moving along and I found this demolished or blown up. Hard to tell. Could be demolished. But this was obviously a large store of sorts where the trains came into. Fascinating. And just to say, it it's really is a network of these little narrow gauge railways. It was. As we pass this road, <coughs> something come from there. There's another drop off point there as well. We pan round. And a distance there. Another store's point. And as we look here as well, it went into there. I bet it was some site this back in the day. You know, it was in the later years, I believe. Other places used it. Part of Germany did. American arms. Goodness knows what. Yeah, we got two sets of tracks coming to my right, from my right, sorry. We got here. We've got tracks here. So again we've got a drop off point to this. Amazing. Now, of course this site was, I believe it was a mine long before my time. Before this got trans transferred into an arms dump. I keep using the word dump because that's what it's called locally. Arms depot. R and A D to be exact. The site. This was an old slugging regards to mining. No doubt there'd be a lot of shafts, hidden shafts around here, so it's wise to keep to the paths as much as possible. Yeah, it's an old building over there. As I come round. There's a lot of buildings down here and I can see a chimney. Uh, you see how much I can film. I really hope I don't get I don't hear in chest. <laughs> a farm has been using these over the years. Just hope it doesn't come back now from anyway, I'll walk along here. I'll take the old walls. Yeah, they're all blocked off. In the distance here, there's a lot more buildings. Back there. Looks like a shelter and tunnel, aren't they? Fascinating. I had to come up on this bank, up in those tunnels. So you can see these buildings a lot better. Across there, it's piping. It goes across there. Those who know about army stuff, navy stuff, any forces stuff will be able to tell me a bit more about what the purpose of all these was. A bit thick when it comes to all that. Comments are welcome underneath. Now to stretch on this, was this like an emergency? Like a little hospital or something? I don't know. Of course. That, that is something, I don't know what it is. Off a bed, look. Things hanging down. Could beds have been here? And then there's some old picture there with an angel. Very dubious. Alright. Pipes and all sorts. But yeah, this great tower still intact. Now, the 
that's huge, that tower. They use that for something, won't they? It's still intact. It's weird because you can't really see this from the road. Further round. The roads go right round. Yeah, unfortunately, a good few years ago there was an accident here which killed a few folk. I've well, been on a, a munitions dump and a bomb making site. But unfortunately things happen, but it's just sad. One final look before I head back. I'm not gonna, it would take me ages to walk around here, besides I'll probably get seen. But yeah, just have a look around. Now this has been dug out. Tunnels underneath me. I believe there is some underground tunnels on this area somewhere. But it's going to take a lot of work to get rid of all this, just to want to transform it into something new for everybody. I don't think it'll happen in my lifetime, anyhow. Rest of my life, anyhow. But it's been interesting to satisfy my curiosity today. Let's crack on. Right. I'm on my way out now. Crack a little walk that, it's only been an hour or so. Learned quite a lot, seen quite a bit that I wouldn't see from the road on, when I'm biking around here. So, just hoping the future this can be redeveloped into something really special. I mean, they couldn't path that one now, this path here. Well, you it, no, it just forks on all sorts of other paths, would be great having a great cycle path around here in the future. Even a holiday park's been proposed, goodness knows what, but we shall wait and see. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this short video, so I'll see you soon on next one.